coordinator for this 20th annual SNF convention. We met up with my colleague, uh, Professor Karthik Dandapani, uh, in the registration desk, I believe. Like both of us are working towards uh, putting this program in place. Not a great start for the first session to be delayed. But the flight got delayed, so we couldn't do much about it. But uh, the news I just got is the guest has arrived. He's on his way. He'll be there in five minutes. So as he comes, we'll, we'll begin the session. We'll kick off the session with how to write a case. Uh, but the inauguration is being done only tomorrow. Area. I hope you benefit from this conference. And uh, do let us know how we can improve in putting this together. We've tried our best, but I know there could be some slips, uh, slip ups here and there. So let us know uh, your comments, feedback. We'll be more than happy to incorporate it in the subsequent programs that we do. Right? So the guest should be here any minute. So we'll just wait for five more minutes. Thank you. Welcome to Strategic Management Forum 20th Annual Convention 2018. Welcome to I am Richie. So we are starting our first session a little bit a bit late because Sir had to be there directly from the airport. So uh, sorry about this. So Dr. Sahai is uh, the Dean at uh, Dean Research at Bimtech, the Institute of Management Te Technology, Richard Noida. And uh, he has worked in corporate, his corporate stint at Scotus India Limited is well known. He was not only responsible for turnaround strategy of Scotus India Limited, but also uh, he ensured new products and services are launched from there. Right now he is uh, in BIMTECH. He specializes in strategic management, mergers and acquisitions, strategic alliances, joint ventures, innovation, entrepreneurship, sustainability, and CSR. So he is a, been a turnaround manager, corporate entrepreneur, researcher, educator, and an institution builder. And uh, in addition, he has also been a big passionate uh, Evangelist as far as case method is concerned, and that's the reason we couldn't find anyone else to start the session on case method. You know, how to write a case, how to find the opportunities for a case. So this is a two-part series. So the first one is today, which will be done by Dr. Arnadhe Tisai. The one tomorrow on writing a teaching note will be done by Professor Dixit, who is sitting in the front row here. And this also gives me an opportunity to welcome Mr. Professor Krishna Kumar, who is the founder of SMF. He is also recently going to so, without much further ado. Okay. Thank you. So, good afternoon, everybody. I am one of you. Whatever he says, you forget. I am just one of you. And we would uh, start. In fact, he is writing uh, Professor Kishu Kumar copy. He was uh, there. He was in I am Lucknow. As a faculty, I was CEO of my company. He came to write case on our company. And that's how I got introduced to case. Uh, now, before I get into, I'm not going to reality. It is going to be a totally interactive session. We are going to talk and talk and talk and talk. So, what's a case? What's a case? What do we think? What's a case? A business problem which we can use in the classroom discussion just to deal with some concepts. Anybody else? Decision yes, problem. Again. Decision problem. Huh? It's a decision problem. Decision problem. Yes, situation yes. encountered by a company. Situation encountered by a company. Yes. From this side, I'm not telling anything. It could be a real-time situation. Real-time situation. Help us to get better insights. Okay. Anybody here? Yeah? Yes. Yeah. So we have to look at Okay, so everybody talked management language. He gave a very nice practical thing. Yeah. I mean, we are talking now teaching case. A story. Basically a case is a story. Next step is what all you said about situation, about X, Y, J. One has to take decision. All of you are right. But it starts with really a story. I don't know our old system of education. Very well period. How was he used to teach? <coughs> Anybody remember the story of Vishnu Sarma? The Panchatantra. Panchatantra. So, how did he, uh, Vishnu Sarma, how did Vishnu Sarma was the guru? How did he teach his disciples? Stories. 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 Just telling his stories. <coughs> now I have second question. How many types of cases are there? 
When it's the case, everybody says there is a decision point, there is a management problem. So I say, yes, that's true, that is right. But that is only about one type of case. There is yet another type of case. Come on. I'm asking you about another type of case. That's a real situation, obviously. Medical they use, legal. Medical they use, legal they use. But all of them are really a situation what was earlier talked, that it's a real situation. But there is another type of case, which is a research case. The other, and what's the difference between the two? It's like a real-time story and a story which you conjure. Hmm? What's the difference between the two? Research stories are more like... Research stories are? More like participate, the deal with the situation, explain the scenario. Anybody else? More assumption based. More assumptions based. Not real. Hypothetically, a situation is created so that learning happens. No, in either case there is situation. No, this is... Uh, Maybe the business may not see today, but maybe like artificial intelligence simulated in a particular environment. There can be cases without artificial intelligence. Artificial intelligence no, is not necessary. Okay. Conceptually, this is the concept which drives that. So maybe manufacturing. Anybody else? We talked that there are two types of cases. And we said one research, one teaching, yeah. So the objectives of research case and teaching case are different. Research Absolutely case, right. Uh, is more like adding to the existing body of knowledge or trying to validate a theory. Whereas the objectives of teaching case are more aligned with the learning of the of the participant. You mean to say research case there is no learning? No, but that's not the primary objective. Hmm. Okay. So now the objectives we are talking of primary, secondary, tertiary. Can anybody explain? You are right. You are absolutely right that in one the objective is very. We say learning. Nowadays, AAC we call it teaching learning. Teaching learning systems. What <coughs> all other accurate dictation bodies, but uh, what's the objective of a research case? Teaching case, yes, absolutely right. It's basically to solve the problem through which you learn, but don't you learn through research case? Come on. Don't you learn through research case? Don't you learn through research papers? So what's the difference? Absolutely, there, in both cases, it's not that in teaching case you don't do research. Even in teaching case you are required to do research. In other case there is research, but what she said, in the research case, you finally evaluate, discuss, give conclusion was. Well, as in the teaching case, you live it with the problem for the students to discuss, to come to, and uh, is there a solution in a teaching case? Hmm? Yes? All of yes, maybe. maybe, yes, no? Maybe, maybe solutions. So, the team, more the so probable solution, I won't say that you know the solution, because the Honest <coughs> so there are more the solution, more the probable solution, the better is the case. And did you get a write-up, a small write-up I had sent? How to write a case? How to write when I said how to write a case, I meant teaching case. No? Don't matter. Okay, so how many of you have written earlier teaching case or published teaching case? 
because I am seeing so many faces whom I know they have written. Okay, great. So what do you look at when you start writing a teaching case? Why should you write? How should you write? What should you write? And why are you writing? And why are you writing? Absolutely. I want for the younger people, our research scholars, they are the future. So this question, they start with this question. Why do you want to write a teaching Why do you write? Most of the time it becomes a compulsion. Huh? Most of the time it becomes a compulsion. <laughs> That's great. Yeah, yeah, very many institutions, it's part of the curriculum, so you have to write. You're forced to write again. You are forced to write. Uh, but... And we try to do a little best. No, that's right. But uh, sometimes, don't you get an urge to rise? How many of you go to classes, for example? When you go to class, what do you do? When so we teach our case, like sometimes, because we're passionate. Not necessarily. <coughs> when you go to class, any class. Whichever, whether it is operation management, which is strategy, marketing, X, Y, G, what do we do with the students? Huh? Deliver lecture. Help them learn. Help them learn. Huh? Help them learn. Huh? Facilitate them, right. And there was a, and earlier also if you take Gurukul, it was not that the teacher, the Guru was always teaching. No. He was facilitating. He was making them learn. There was self-learning. The students would be asked to go in the society, Viksham Devi, a talking of the old Vedic style. And then while you went, you really met people, you had your own learnings, you came and shared with Guru. So, yes, and most of the, I mean, in Baring sites, I have sort of leading private school, most of the places I find even the cases is being taught. You can't teach kids. Cases there to share. Cases there to experience. Cases there to find answers to the questions. Now let me again come back to his question, though we had raised why, how, what, why. So why do we write this? Those of you who have written, let me ask them first. Why did they write a case? Why did they write? Why did you write? Yeah, so this is an interesting phenomena that you want to capture and which might have some learnings for students. No, it's right. Very good, interesting phenomena. But what was the propelling force to you or motivation to you that made you write. I think it's a chunk of complexity that you get in a case. That hmm? It's a chunk of complexity that you can bring inside the classroom. Okay. So if you see that chunk of complexity, I know the real business world is really complex. So if you get a sense of that and if you can portray it in a case format, and if you can bring that chunk of reality inside the classroom, you can have very interesting discussions. And you know. I would like to add that the complexity can be made very simple <coughs> and it can be uh, easily delivered to the students. Yeah, so that's where theory so comes in, right? Drive business or drive the learning and whatever they have learned into real business then. That is what is possible. Whatever they have learned. learned. Whatever conceptions they have learned to align that with the real practice. And some would tell just the reverse. Probably reverse. in the practical aspect that what is, huh? Probably yeah. in the practical aspect of the theory, what do we call in the classroom? Giving a practical approach, the theory has always been to so give a practical approach to the theory. Real time place, it's a real time scenario. It is a real time scenario, no doubt about it. But I am getting two different things. One is, is to learn the theory from practice. And the second answer I got is, from the theory, you go to practice, align to the business. So these are diametrically opposite. What exactly we mean? Why? Why? Those of you who have taught, some of you I know for sure, you have taught, not taught, but you have dealt with cases in classrooms. Can they share their experience? 
I am still not come to the point. We have got 90 minutes, right? Okay. So I have still not come to the point how to write. Yes. Anybody sharing? Many of you have got to the classroom, the floor case. Some of you have gone with somebody <coughs> in this case, but I am seeing some places where I know for sure they have gone to the classroom with their own case. So can they share their experience? The engagement and connect on the subject was very, uh, uh, I mean, fast and real uh, sort of a connected way. Because, you know, when you bring a case and the situation and then connect with the student, the engagement is very fast. <coughs> you are absolutely right. There is a connect, the enrichment. But again, I am asking, let me change the words. What has been your objective to write it? What has been your objective to take the classroom to the, I mean, take the case to the classroom? Make what it more, has, more interesting and create time. Objective is to make it more interesting. Hmm? To state the problem and discuss about it. To discuss about the problem. Brainstorming, analytical skill. Brainstorming, analytical skill. Application, like you said, application of concepts to solve problem. Application of concept to solve problem. And through a real-time scenario. And if I say just the opposite, that what is the practice in the case from there to derive theory? Then it becomes a research book? case. Huh? You are deriving a new theory from a problem, then it becomes a research case. If you want a novel concept to be introduced to the students, mm -hmm. and you try to take it through a case, that may reach the students. This is like I did only one case that was based on this. Okay. So what was it based on? So it was like a startup which my friend started. Okay. So uh, it was a very new idea to start a business based on three old books. Mm -hmm. And that was based on sustainability. So while I was teaching sustainability, mm -hmm. I took this case to the class and it was. No, you said that most of it. Had to write the case because you are compelled. No, this was not on compulsion. This okay. was on my own. Way. This was out of your own volition. Good. Both for the benefit of my friend and for myself. Okay. So you are talking benefit to your friend? In the, in the Yourself? Did you take that case to the classroom? Yeah, of course. Okay. For the benefit of the student. For the benefit of the student. Collectively. Collectively. Good. It was about work, it was about a startup, about a small business or an entrepreneur. But what did you want to do with the case? What did you teach? What did you make the students learn? It was like uh, how to you know, could, uh, take non stereotype ideas and make them into something that they can use in business. What did the students learn? At the end of this session, what did the students convey to you? Or what did you feel? Idea of the business. So your purpose was just to give them an idea? A novel, the novelty of the business. Novelty of the business. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, first of all, uh, I am in the presence of some of the faculty who have taught me to teach. So I am also learning from you people, so don't hesitate. First of all, my salutations to them. And then, uh, regarding this uh, idea of uh, how do we go about teaching a case. Uh, if I can use a small analogy, um, there was a program, television program, which I saw once, <coughs> which told, uh, which was about a dance program. Malika Sarabhai was a great yeah. dancer, yeah. and uh, she came on stage accompanied by some of her acolytes, and they spread a sheet, and then she performed her dance and went on for 15 minutes or 20 minutes and then uh, she left the stage and I was like okay so yeah that was a dance and then the acolytes come back and the sheet is lifted and there is an image of Ganesha that is there right so for me case teaching is something like that I have to give them some idea but that idea is contained within a lot of complexities. I have to give them some idea of complexities, 
but at the fundamental level, I am driving home a central point which should end in an aha kind of a feeling. And then the point is driven home and the student remembers it for the rest of his life, hopefully. Thank you. Well, this case teaching and That's writing teaching. the teaching note, I will leave it for Professor Dikshit for the next day. I am still struggling with how, how to write a case, why to write a case, what to write in the case. So, I will share. We, we did a small consulting assignment for right. okay, some concept. Okay. So, after solving, we involved some students so that they, the person they learn. I thought of converting that consulting into a real class case study so that all the nitty gritties of different aspects of business, of operations, of uh, health and care, of different aspects of business, because the company was having a lot of complexity. That brings multi-dimensional learning to the students, not only in that subject, but associated things, how do you manage that? That was the main objective I wanted to deliver in the complexity, because it cannot be focused only on one topic or one thing. It has to deal with other things. Do you also. agree that a case needs to deal with everything, with a lot of things? Mm -hmm. It can be one point of it, it can be on one point of it all depends. It all depends. If you are writing a case for general management, yes. But if you are writing, I mean, before writing a case, what what goes into this point? Yeah, so After all, all of you said that we are writing the case to share it in the classroom yeah. so that the students should learn. So one of the key components of the case is also the protagonist. For example, what goes in his or her mind? And one of the objectives is also to bring your students to a point of what if they were in that position, what they would have done, given the information, limited information that is available. I think that's the, the tussle that goes within the student's mind when they are wearing the shoe of the protagonist is what from which they are. That, that is absolutely right, but what goes into your mind or what should go into your mind? Test the student's knowledge. Hmm? Test the student's knowledge. The mm, yes and no. Yes, you can test. No doubt about it. But what do we do? I mean, before you write a case, when do you think, why am I writing? For which class? Which session? What do you want to change for this? I mean, somebody writing on HR, probably she may be thinking that I, she should, whether she thinks or not, I want to watch. But if I'm going to really share with this students about complexity, that's a compensation. Then it is a case for HR on a particular subject. In many, many, many places, compensation management itself is an elective. Within compensation management, which session I am doing. So you have to be very focused. I will like the eye of the fish and Guru Dharuchimacharya telling Arjuna at that time. So you have to have that. I mean, that is the, it's all right. As he said, that is also circumstances. I am not telling that there is only one way to proceed. Always there are many paths. Here, the situation, here, the people, get. But then, even with that, when you write, when you write, you must have in your mind, which class I am taking, which subject I am taking, which class, which session. You have to be very, when your case become, I am very focused, most of the time if you go to good publications, I will, or even other case houses, I find such a scholar's case coming back, that the case is very diffused, it's not focused. For example, uh, Sir, with your permission, he wrote a case on Terminal. And <laughs> it was on my company and I was the protagonist. But Terminal is an ocean. It is an ocean, so you could really take so many things and that type of case is not for one session. You can take one, two, three, what he wants to teach. He wanted every... Then there is another, what he did was, a, B, C, D, 
it started how it declined. So every stage, and he only can share how he used in the class. But first thing is, why did he write? How did he write? Can you share? As a student, not as a teacher. <laughs> <laughs> when I completed that case, I found my four years course at I am on one side, my six, seven years in Bank of Baroda on one side, and what I saw was nowhere in any book or in a certain case. That's all. Just close your ears. <laughs> How a company can be mismanaged in all possible ways? <laughs> It's not good. <laughs> I have seen it private, like National Textile Corporation. All private companies. Now, then it was very surprised. Nowhere in the literature I have seen a company which for 15 years making loss and continue. But bigger surprise came when 10 years later I wrote another case that even such companies can also be turned around. And that was the classic because I have never come across a company anywhere in the world in the history that a company comes in net profit for the first time in its silver jubilee. So, and that was the period also, that was the period consulting with this forum. That was a period where the government of India was talking of exit policy. And my question was, if even after 24 years of sustained losses, a company can come in net profit for the first time in several year, years, when do we say exit? Okay. So just see, here is an example where whatever I have told is, it all goes into thin air. It's not for any topic, not for any session. In his mind, it was something new, which was nowhere in the book, nowhere in the literature, nowhere in the article. He brought a totally new thing to the classroom. And today's, especially graduate students, what we call it, yes. And everybody comes with a mobile in the class. If you are Talking what is written in the book, what is possible, they are not interested. If you bring something beyond, then only they will listen to it. Otherwise, they are not interested. So coming back to, I am getting into again, back to the fundamental, that, uh, I mean, his horizon was very big. It was, he used it for teaching, but he did a lot of research. It was his research findings. And it was something totally new, which was not anywhere in the literature that he wanted to bring to the classroom. Let the student know. And uh, so in your institute, generally, Sunil Baheshwari, he used to teach. He also wrote this for my company when I was product office. And uh, he made me sit just like that. And the case has been discussed, three hour session. No, no, sir, it is impossible, this cannot be done, that cannot be done. It is impossible, for financial. this is all, this is all. Anything you touch, marketing, finance, management, HR management, nothing and this company, nothing can be done. Even it cannot be sold, nobody will buy. That is what this student discussion. It's interesting that they, two in our life, they talk, so many viewpoints came, Finally, at the end of the session, he said, but the company has been turned around. And the gentleman who has done this sitting is one of you. And then people look at And uh, once they see that the protagonist is sitting, then it goes. We have a coffee break, then even it continues over dinner. And continues till 10, 11, till and they start. Because uh, Abhi I got up at 2.30. 
yesterday I had to come back from Chandigarh, that's how I could not come. And as a gene marketing, I was in the morning in Lucknow, my bed tea, morning tea, breakfast with my dealers in Delhi, lunch in Mumbai, all working lunch, working breakfast. In dinner in Chennai, next morning I am back in office. Uh, but I am not trying to tell that that is an ideal situation, no. What I am trying to tell, or uh, this is what I told to my workers, I used to tell them, why you are not going to be a man, you are And I uh, mean, they, human potential is infinite, tremendous. We, we don't know our own potential. Most of us don't know our own potential. And of, all of you are, can be, not only a good face for anger, but a good face teacher also. And teaching part, as I said, Professor Dixit is here. He will be talking of teaching note. Now I come back to writing a teaching case. Where do we start? I mean, what he did is exception. But generally, we start with the bird side. I am on this subject, this session, this topic. I am going to deal with it. That. Now, having decided that, how do we start? How do we start? We started the crossroads. Hmm? We started the crossroads. We started the crossroads. That is always there. Any, case, any teaching case has problem statement. Hmm? Problem statement. Problem statement. Do you agree? The problem statement is generally with the research. That you have a problem or a question, can you work on it? In a teaching case, as I said, Teaching case is more a story. So how do you start? When you want to write a teaching case, how do you start? How should you start? Okay. Some of you have written so you can share your experience. Those who have not, so then my question is how should you start? You have only thought, we start with the protagonist at the crossroads and we try and figure out what are the issues in his mind and try to build up what we are going to talk about in the case. <coughs> Sir. Okay. Yeah. If I can see the idealistic situation and what actually happened in that two different things. Ideally, we should be finding out what we want to teach in class, write out Okay, this is the book chapter, this is the idea that I want to convey and then I go now fishing. But the world doesn't work like that. The world works around that I see a turnaround of students in India. So I go and sit with them, find out what all is there, document it, and then I see what all things come with this, I can take it back to the class. And then I go back and rewrite the case. So I would have written a detailed story of what happened at Scooter India, and then I go back and make it a teaching case. Okay, let, let's go back to Professor Krishna, uh, Professor Krishna Kumar again. Did he come to Scooter India first? No. He had something at the back of his mind first. Do you agree, disagree? What was that? What was that which is there at the back of your mind? That was how to write 25 cases in two months. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> so, you see an interesting story and you jump on it. No, there is something extraordinary that happened. Yes. This was first batch of I am right now. And uh, I was going to be teacher first time. I had prepared course outline and uh, because Professor Dixit and Professor Shrekar Chaudhary were nurse in Ahmedabad were there. And all that they were teaching, I collected that material and prepared to the best of my abilities. Of course, of that. For business policy, one course. And we had a <coughs> process that the entire faculty council would discuss your course of that. Sorry. 
being chairman of the faculty council, he was also there. Then he said, uh, no, 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 these are all foreign cases. I spent another two months and came June, second half. And then he said, no, 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 they are low quality cases. They are really not that, but low quality cases. I said, if I use foreign case, they are discarded because they are foreign case. If I use Indian cases, he says, no quality case, then what do I do? I have to start my class in the first week of July. <laughs> then uh, that was how you should have used to be. You must write case. I said, in next three months my course has to finish 25 cases. How do I write 25 cases in 15 days? And that is something extraordinary. A faculty council resolution, if you are able to locate the minute, it says the entire faculty council should help Krishna Kumar write the cases for teaching business <laughs> and, and then I didn't know what to do. In Lucknow, how do you do it? So the only person who could accommodate was, was a, uh, the highest company, is put us in India. I remember it was not easy to get permission to start with. But the executive director was one, Mr. Kapoor, very interesting. So somebody said, Sir, we can't take the thing in Mr. Kapoor says, I'm not going to take it. I'm not going to take it. And with that, he gave permission to try out writing this. And hats off. Three out of four cases were clear, finally. And if you use, it's not easy for a company to even approve those cases because nobody wants to write bad thing about this company. But not as I, I admire the courage of Estudas India management that even today they continue to be the cases which I always remember. And if somebody wants to uh, establish among functional area faculty that he is a business policy faculty and our functional area faculty, you can give these three parts to marketing, operations, and technology and finance faculty members. And ask them what is the problem with the company. And after discussion, they will never be able to come to conclusion that basic problem is the company just didn't have any corporate strategy. Everything is loosely hanged. There was no integration whatsoever. And then first time you realize what is the importance of corporate strategy in the organization. And these loose ends were being tightened by Professor Sahai when he became exit director and turned around. They were all put together, integrated and a cohesive group imagine to turn around the school as well. Now, out of his whole story, he had to develop the course of business policy. So he was, he wanted to write a case which served the purpose of transmitting or developing knowledge on business policy. And therefore, I always say, and when it, those days, what he said, foreign cases in the classroom, most of students are not so aware, Indian cases is not required. But today, the situation is totally changed. Today, whole world wants cases from emerging market. All publishers, whether it is IV, case center, KCRC, or even SAGE, Emerald, they have got a special journals for emerging markets. So it has become much easier, faster to publish. As she said, one thing was that it's a course, so there was no other alternative than to write a case. There was one. Second compulsion that all of you must be having is about publication. That you publish or perish. And in good or bad. But we start with, as 
KK said, you always start with something in mind. In mind. He started with business policy. I never shared to you, shared with you. Let me tell you, I have also talked to Professor Sahai of Operations Management, Marketing, you know, and to everyone I offered that you are also welcome. To everyone I had opened my board minutes that it is open, you want to see. But at the end of the day, it is the interest that takes you there. And majority of us, including me, I mean, we somewhere lose the enthusiasm. Many of us may be having half-written cases, half-written articles to just leave there. And that is where, for every teacher, the persuasiveness is a must. Now let's come to so the brass tacks. So in other words, uh, if he was not teaching that particular course within the next two weeks, this case would not have come. No, necessary. I just said, it's the enthusiasm to write. One part is that he was chair or the dean, he had to develop the book. I never had to develop any book. <coughs> I don't teach, but I think by now I have uh, published multi three cases. Quite a few of them in uh, <coughs> I made, few in Emerald, few in Sage. Harwood also sells those cases that I think more than, I don't know, five, six thousand. One participant is there whose case has been, I mean, today hard part of, there is a lot of, lot of business also about this. That, I don't, that is not my purpose to talk. Earlier these two were independent now, there is agreement between IMA and HBA of sharing revenues and taking their thing to sell. So that's not the objective of this discussion. I come back to answering what you said. I, I would say, even if I am interested to write, I said enthusiasm, your own interest. But interest also has got some origin, some root. Any tree that grows has a seed, you know, the ground. It's a palm tree or it's a mango tree or X, Y, Z. That's how a case can be of marketing, a case can be of operation, a case can be study. Depends upon what seed was in your mind. And I personally consider, you may not agree, and we have a right to disagree. And please do, because I am also a learner. I very strongly believe that you must have a seed. And generally you have. Even if you were compared to write a case in your course, you had somewhere some seed that is this, maybe this particular organization, this phenomenon, Somewhere you develop. Maybe there was some external force that made that seed come, grow, <coughs> fertilize. So first and foremost requirement is the seed, your interest, and your <coughs> interest to carry it to the logical conclusion. That is, I would say, the first and foremost requirement. If that is there, then we start some... You want to say something? Okay, so let's assume that, that we have that. What next? All of you have come to this conference. You are attending this session. So I presume that you have that. Now what next we do? Writing a teaching case. Oh, I am making a mistake, it is a lot. Yeah, I am listening to you. So we assume that you have that. Now what is the next thing to do? We had publicly treated told, some of them shared. And who is your audience? Okay, who is your audience? That I think uh, most of them told, but let's clarify here, put a very good question. Who is your audience? One one, what is the subject, what is the objective? But this is also very important, who is the audience? When do we write the case? You have written, you also have written that. See? So did you consider who is the audience?
Cornell College too. Okay. And most of the time, KK was very clear that I am going to have it for my business policy course. Beyond that, of course, he has used his FDPs, FDPs, everywhere later on. But to start with, that was there. And uh, <coughs> again, when we say MDP or FDP, there again you have to remember which MDP, which FDP, where can it fit. But uh, I am taking for granted, we have already spent half an hour, I am taking for granted that those three tools are there. Now, how do we start? What is the first thing to write? What is the first thing to write? What's the first thing we write in a teaching case? You introduce the situation. You introduce the situation. situation. The landscape. Huh? The overall landscape. Overall landscape. Anybody else? You start with the hook, basically. You start with a hook. I am sure everybody knows what is a hook. And as an engineer, I remember hook to be for looking the weight. So the starting, you start with, it's not only hook, you start with protagonist, hook or the issue or the problem, what else? Some element of suspense also if you want to create that. This hook takes care of your suspense, your questions. It can be one, it can be three, four, five. It all depends on uh, you, how do you want to take it. In other words, the hook is nothing but the aha factor that the server is talking in. How we come later? Something we undiscovered as you can. Yeah, but the hook is the thing that you know sets the background or sets the stage for the aha. But is that all? Is that all? I, I'm, let me tell you, there is no standard set that it must be this, 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 this. Like research paper you have got, introduction, literature review, methodology, methods, design, YJ discussion, conclusion. You have a bunch of other flexibility. Right? Flexibility. What else should be there? I sometimes I generally call it as first paragraph. And this is I, I consider to be the <coughs> most important thing because anybody who wants to publish, anybody who wants to teach, makes a decision based on your first paragraph. I mean generally. Maybe that. But that is the first thing that people look at. What all should be there? What all should be there in the first paragraph? You have done in your course. What all should be there in the first paragraph in a teaching case? What is the decision problem? Hmm? What is the decision what problem? Okay, surely. Then, who is the protagonist? Who is the protagonist? Where and when? When? Where? And why is he in that situation? <coughs> Sometimes <coughs> this is. I mean, people write, people don't write, depending upon what you want as an outcome. What else? What, who, when, where, why, how. So these all need to be there in your opening paragraph itself. The how comes as a body of the case, right? 
I said that is why you are right. That is why I have put it in this block. <coughs> How much you want to give in the first paragraph? Only little. You don't want to give. You want to explain it. Things later on. But these are must for the publication. And let me tell you. I mean, generally we said protagonist. There can be case without protagonist. Stop. Teaching this. Protagonist is not a must. Generally, yes. But of late, I am saying cases without protagonist. There are cartoons. You will see Professor Krishna Kumar's case, just question answer, but then conversation. I am talking traditional, what happens? Traditional and more for not necessarily from impacting the student, but more for publication and publishers, they require these things. Once you have written, will anybody, let's say, let's say we are going to write a case about SMF convention. What would you do? And I want, we want to position it, teaching learning system, maybe not necessarily business management, but education management. So what will you do that? Anybody, two, three sentences, four, five, whatever you want to tell. There is no right answer, no wrong answer. So please do not hesitate. What Come out. Of, what could be the object of such a conference? Hmm? What could be the ideal object okay. of such a conference? Okay. Okay. Uh, yes. There is a platform, there are some people who are asking the matters. And therefore, what way, way should be exactly? Anybody? You there? Great. Come on. Harami, business, business. This is also a situation. All of you said it is a, a situation. In a case, we like a situation. SMF has organized a central convention. What, there, what learnings could be there? I mean, this is a starting. Actually, if you are through whole convention, then you have got a broader picture. Then, where is your desk? Because in classroom, when you discuss, you bring various, I mean, so many alternatives, solutions, so many alternatives in our list. I mean, this case could be the protagonist is there. This could happen. Was this the right organization? Could this not have been organized that way? Could a third methodology not have given a better receptivity? <coughs> X, Y, G. <coughs> we have not completed the whole convention, but post convention you can really write a good case of the pick about process of learning or process of organizing a conference. It may not be for the business education, but even in business teaching, learning, teaching, learning system is same everywhere, whether it is business education or geography or history or physics. 
Today, I was surprised. Even physics and chemistry is being taught through cases. It all started from medical and legal. Today, history, geography. This may ready me higher. It was easy for me to swallow. But today, it's all physics being taught through case. I mean, generally, we say experiment. Chemistry would do an experiment. What is an experiment? Experiment also is a situation. It may give result x, y, z, depending upon what value control factors, which factors could you control, which you could not. Okay, so I'm not because time is running out. Let's say we have written the first paragraph, then what do we do? Or you want to take a better situation, we can deal with this. I, I just took SMF convention, but if you feel more at home with any other situation, you can take that. So when you say the SMF convention, I would think uh, the focus would be, will it happen next year? Okay. It didn't happen last year, so. It didn't happen last year, so will it happen next year? That's the hook. Okay. So here, what, what are you, fine, but what are you then aiming at? Then you are really, I don't know what is in your mind, but what you raise really reflects on the SMF organization and its organizational issues. You know best what you meant. I'm just interpreting. Will it happen again? I mean, subjective answer is yes, it will happen again. But then your question is very pertinent. And what you had at the back of mind? No, so what do you want to convey? What do you want to teach? What do you want your participant to learn out of this? How to make it happen. How to make it happen. Then we are moving in direction of sustainability. Okay. How virtual officeless organizations sustain and for all now? Okay, that's good. So, again, the question mark is, I mean, at the center of the thing is the organization. The issue is whether it will be able to organize, whether it will last, how long will it last, whether such organizations are sustainable, so there are so many types of questions can be raised out of it. If you have any further thing, please add. Okay, so we shall take this only forward. So this gives up also a case on, it can be on organization, organization development, it can be a case on organization structure, it can be a case on organization behavior, it all depends. On leadership? It can be also on leadership. Uh, I agree, it can be, but uh, as I said, if I see the work side, uh, leadership is again very amorphous and very my perception. I'm not saying that that is not right. That is what. But when you start it, that whether it will happen next, so it is more an organizational issue. Okay. Is very was whether anybody will come. <laughs> okay, the, uh, if the question is whether anybody will, will come, is that not really connected to the organization? It's more a market. Huh? It's more a market. What is a market? Right? Is, uh, what is a market? For, a demand for a particular service. No, that is economics. Demand no, and supply. Yeah, but, but my question is what is a market? I agree what you are telling, but my question is what is a market? <laughs> What is, the what is the education market? What is the, if I say faculties market, what is it? Students are just faculties. Huh? Here we all are sharing. I can't, I don't, at least I don't see and I don't conceive. And even when I go to classroom, MBAs I hardly teach now. But whenever I went, I always, I mean, it's an open forum, it is two-way learning. It's not that you are 
and this high person that you are just passing on knowledge, aap gutti pila rahe ho, wo pi gaya ho. It doesn't happen that way at this level. So, uh, let's come, I mean, you may agree, you may disagree. There can be so many dimensions, but let's say that this is what we are going to write. How can an organization survive? Or sustainability of an organization? Okay, I will. Not at all, not at all. Somebody was actually sorry, he will take forward in <laughs> so, <coughs> now we say that whether an organization is sustainable, sustainable is the weaker. So, I am going to really my main focus sustainability of an organization. Or life cycle of an organization. Life cycle and sustainability, I mean, these are two different constructs, but is it life cycle of an industry or an organization? We are talking organization. We are talking right now SMF. Yes. <laughs> that is what we decided. I am just talking about the very industry of conferences. How long will conferences continue or last? So that is, conferences, how do conferences take place? Somebody organizes. Yeah. It is an issue of organization. Is there a better method to then, then the question is different. Yeah. Is there a better method to organize? Can the conference deliver better learning with participation? Here right now, let's limit to one, as I said, but I, let's limit to that sustainability of organization. How long will it sustain? Will it sustain? Or how it should sustain? It be case material or case research. It can be other way. I mean, like Scooters India, first time in the profit in 25th year, and we don't know how this SMF is lasting, how this conference is taking place. I mean, surprise is not that not uh, many good things are happening. Surprise is how we are meeting today. How we met two years back. Because we don't know when we will meet again. Are they not all questions related to organizational sustainability, organizational vitality? First, let's talk about the economic viability. I'm not getting into economics. <laughs> but that is totally different. We are talking about kids. Right? Sustainability, economic viability. No, I agree. Whatever you are telling is absolutely agree. But now, we want to we have written the initial opening paragraph. Now we have to write. What do we do next after opening paragraph? The historical background of SMI. After that, you say background or whatever. And this major part it is called body of the case. Within this, there can be so many things about organization, about protagonists, about competitors. X, Y, G, circuit is so many. That part is ready. I have written, but it's often. That part is written. Sustainability part is there. Question mark, how to write that part? Sir, main line could be beneficiaries of this organization. Who? Beneficiaries of the organization. Beneficiaries? Again, my request to all of you is that, as you are telling, that is also can be an issue. But we want right now to write a case about sustainability of our right? And we want to maybe, it is not, sustainability again has got many different meanings. Sustainability of the art, sustainability of the nation, sustainability of corporates, mostly when we Assemble as business people, we talk corporate sustainability. Here, we are not talking about corporate sustainability, but sustainability of a society. SMF is it? registered as a society. Am I correct? I don't know. It's renewed. As long as you are paying the fee, you are paying the taxes, the organization is. 
organization is alive till what will you tell one thing i can assure you if somebody takes this task and writes something truly extraordinary uh, will emerge as a trait of indian society something truly extraordinary there is nothing that exists ashutosh is there any office is treasure Uh, how many accounts are there? Sir, uh, I think the better question is, what is an organization? Many. <laughs> no, these are all the societies. Even different cases. So it's big. Uh, and big problem came. Please, please. When uh, I wanted to sell my house, and I was not able to sell because society was interested in name of house. Uh, So how if I sell it, what happens to it? <coughs> so I requested I have not known to take the address to transfer it to allow <coughs> use the name. I am not known campus as official address of uh, registered officer of some forum. So board approved. After approval, I said some income tax files are there. They have to be kept somewhere. So I need a place. Director said, "No, there is no promise of you know, giving a place." So then I had to show Oxford Dictionary what is meaning of registered office. A registered office is a place where formal communication can be received, and therefore, in the permission of our local board. physical physical uh, office uh, premises have to be given and to cap it all uh, there was also one thing that uh, they, i am happy to inform that the board of i am lucknow has agreed to allow you um, have a registered office at i am lucknow at a notional rent of rupees 1 per month so 10 years rent i deposited <laughs> I have received. So after 2000, uh, uh, so he has given him answer that next 10 years it is sustainable. No, no, no. No, no. Even if I, no. With that letter, the address of the society is changed to I am Lucknow. Now, if I am Lucknow has to throw us out, the star of I am Lucknow, the star of society in UP will not allow. I am Lucknow cannot throw you out. <laughs> Hey, hey, even after ten years, even after ten years, even after ten years, we have started office. We have gone into legal part. Even after ten years, I am a defaulted tenant, but it is long to me. They may impose penalty for late fees, but they cannot say that it is not your office till I vacate. And the registrar allows. And the Just my vacating alone will not. And the registrar has allowed. On the letter given by director, board has approved to shift the registered office to I am not known. Mm -hmm. The problem is, board can say that the registered office can be shifted. Last thing, because, uh, because I I have got a notice that I next session is due. Khatam karna hai. So what we were talking about the body of the case, and here because it became a very interesting organization. If any of you is interested to write a case on you. I think both he, I also volunteer to join. He, Ashutosh, and Professor Nathri, Shini, Shini may be writer. He cannot be data. So <laughs> the body of the case may kya kya likha chhi. What all we need to do? Let's take with we'll take this only sustainability of the seminar. What the body of the case will contain? Errors of various leaders who are taken charge of the whole project. For example, three people were taken as president. Anybody else? What is your question? He, no, his answer. He, there was no question. The question was from me that in the body of the case, if we are writing this as a case, what all should be included? So his answer was that. How it came into being, what were various leaders, how it passed, 
those are relevant, but beyond that, what, it, what else? Think I have a thing or we have a work of the organization, organization ka, I mean, a small instead, generally you don't require because now words are limited always. So, absolutely. Then he is talking about, there are no different leaders. There has been one, one and only one leader and he is even today the leader. Banyan um, Tree. Huh? Banyan Tree. Banyan Tree. So, the leader is, has been only one. We all have grown going all right in the country, I am responsible. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, but after that, what is to be included? The See, external and the internal environment of the organization. Uh, yes. The environment in which the organization is operating and the environment within the organization. Okay, so what you are talking? External and internal role. What, what else? Stakeholders' roles. Uh, issue is uh, the main issue is this. Main issue is this. Main issue is this. Sustainability. Main issue is the sustainability. Uh, sustain sustainability of the organization. This is the main issue. So what else we should contain? So you can include uh, structure, governance, decision making Absolutely. process. Absolutely. Kind of you need to have here the structure, the governance. What else? Decision making process. Process of evolution and growth. That we say it in the brief history, we say there you would cover all that. What do you want? What are the actual current issues? Okay, issues. Basically, anything coming out of this, X, Y, Z, you can. But we want that. Is that all? Do you have the changes which is happening in the I mean currently what are the changes happening? That is that is what people said external and internal and Within that you would come. What next? What are the developments in the scenario continuing to happen? Why uncertainty? Why uncertainty? I would, I would generally come into what we said as I opening paragraph. Likewise, there is something called concluding paragraph. And here again, you bring some of these things and this gives you again opportunity to raise further questions. With your wish. So, what could be further question? Come on. The threatening factors. Okay. The threatening factor you have already talked here. External environment. What are the things we would talk in concluding paragraph? Future talking with the opportunities further. Huh? Opportunities further. Opportunities further. Actually, you know, you don't give a specific because those are the things that should come out during discussion. That all you can take into teaching note. All those details, all opportunities. As a teacher, you want to know, but a student, you don't want to give it. Let them. Roadmap for the next five years. Roadmap, if you are given, then it is an answer. You are not required. You should not. Summarize the challenges. Yeah, that is what it gives you opportunity. You summarize. You are absolutely right. Summarize and some decision points. How will you? That's an important. Try to highlight the uncertainty. Who? You try to highlight the uncertainty in what? Yes, this gives you an opportunity to highlight and also sometimes you need not project future, you need not say, but even you can take about the future part with a question mark, without a certaining, without a certaining, without telling your opinion. You are not supposed to give any opinion anywhere. In the research case we talk, yes, of course you can write. Uh, that's what I meant when I said future is 
suggest of no you you are not supposed to then it's not a teaching oh. <coughs> but is that all with that is that over yet is that over no after having written all that is the teaching case ready without teaching not no teaching case is ready and writing or teaching not what does it do it meets the objectives of the what happens is it is a cyclical process you have written the case now is you start writing teaching no you find so many gaps that you know case been correct or these are super flaws this is not my objective three four five cycles till they to converge converge and you are slowly right since i got to notices to conclude <laughs> i'll conclude here with this offer and any of you it's a very interesting topic and it's good that we raise this and that also gives us a guidance for us also there we become students how to take it forward as you raise the question that will it happen will it sustain so you brought the case i didn't bring it <laughs> we all brought it i didn't bring this case i only asked the question that is how case comes that is a starting point <laughs> my question was out of concern really. but that's good and that is how it's a task for us it can give us a great learning and we are not thankful and again i am repeating anyone wanting to write he has offered he has offered i am offering we can take it forward and it can be a very very interesting it is not on a business situation but even society trust cases are written and they are also taken into business management class you can take it in uh, somewhere it is ob ob mein bahut sare hai organization is structured this also it is sustainability of organization so it can more go into organization structure it is not in the behavior even partially it can be covered but what you are writing whether you are focusing on structure whether you are focusing on behavior that will decide what will be the content which particular session you are taking it so questions to me please shoot questions we all uh, we have been really making conversation i would like to answer if any of you have got questions related what we did in last an hour and a half no questions you know yeah how to write case without data how to write case without what question Uh, how to write case without you know we have not discussed how to get material from it all the material i am mean, when we say the opening paragraph we say we are going to stick here you don't require much data except what when where is this body of the case the requires all the data and what will be the data in this particular case I have sure. Okay. Uh, we start uh, with a particular intention or objective, and then we keep coming and we collect more data. Right. Do we understand? Like there's a small change that's happening with the data that we look. For example, we were just looking at the case on sustainability. Right. Now, when we are collecting all those inputs and all the trends and all that, we look at it. Can it be a change management case? So, at that point of time, how do we just alter this? It, actually that is the beauty of what we say all of you must have done both quantitative research and qualitative research in quantitative research you decide before that your hypothesis is fixed in the qualitative research 
you can go on changing your sample, you can go on changing your methodology as you proceed. And even for writing a teaching case, you need to do the research. So you are very correct, things go on changing. So it depends upon you, you started with sustainability of this. But after getting the data, you find no, it will be more suitable to change management. That challenge is much bigger. So you change the course. Any other course? Uh, birds, I will let it tell you are correct. But I would say that you are leaving that word, you are getting into another word, but you are concentrating on the eye. That has to be it. So one observation, to say sure, that sir. you need a data to write a case which I don't agree, not necessarily you have to put uh, pages of data in a case. Like for example, in IIM Bangalore, they have a case which is written in Michael University and Robin Hood. It's a one and a half page case. There's no data there. Nowadays, nowadays, cases are coming only in cartoons. They are short cases. But when we say data, if a picture is the data, the sentence is the data, the word is the data. Data need not be number alone. So an interview with the pro uh, protagonist or stakeholders could also be data. It is a data, of course. It is a data. It is descriptive data. And you are right that the quantitative, yes, this is our data. It's not necessary that you must have numbers, but where he is writing, going down, coming up, there without financial data it will make no meaning. Right. So it depends upon your context. So thank you all. Thank you, sir. Thank because you, sir. I have already worked with Thank you, Dr. Sai. I'm sure he enthralled you the way he has been narrating stories, crafting stories, as well as teaching educators how to write cases. Now, we are giving cases as much importance as writing a research paper. In research papers, similar issues arise. When you have started start collecting data and you realize that it is taking a different form, you change the paper to something else, as if it's contributing to something else. And you thought it to be contributing to something else. Same thing, similar terms. So it's as exciting as writing a research paper and if you look at so many people who have come here, they have all been evangelists as far as case writing is concerned and Dr. Sahai, I am sure has increased the passion in you as far as case writing is concerned. So thank you Dr. Sahai and I will request Dr. Maitri to give a token of appreciation to Dr. Sahai. Dr. Maitri is our director, I am Pichira Palli. So we'll give a much longer formal introduction tomorrow. So I must say here that I was one of the fortunate to work with Professor Sahai at the other way. We were happy. We worked together. Is that one more? Thank you. So we have tea outside, and after that we'll start our parallel track presentations from four to five. So we have 15 minutes to interact and please do keep in touch with Dr. Sahai. This is a series, tomorrow we have a, a workshop on how to write a TCV note and day after tomorrow we have a session on how to use simulations for teaching strategies. So these three workshops I am I'm sure will enhance your understanding of strategic management in general.